guys, and welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, first of all, Happy New Year's Eve. Um, this is going to be your keys to the week for 1 to 19. Um, two things. Uh, number one, later tonight, I'll be over on Jeffrey Comic Con's New Year's special. There'll be a bunch of us over there, but I wanted to tell you about this right now. I am going to be posting this video at 4 p.m. Pacific time, okay? And at 5 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to have an auction. It's going to be a fast blow-through auction. I'm going to have that Avengers collection I was talking about. I'm maybe auction off a of Batman Damn 10.0 variant. And I have full collections. These are This auction is going to be like collections. I have all Star Squadron, one complete. These are 70s books. A bunch of different collections, McFarlane runs, um, stuff like that. Just, you know, non-bagged and boarded, but, you know, bagged. They're bagged, but the whole collection. You're going to you bid on it, and you get the whole collection. Um, and I'm going to be picking out of, like, a variant box with keys every once in a while. It's only going to last, like, an hour, okay? So I would suggest to come by Facebook, Economics and Comics, at 5 p.m. Pacific, to see the auction. Sorry, people are yelling in the background. So let's, I hope to see you guys there. As soon as I'm done with that auction, I'm gonna go over and visit over at Jeffrey Comic Con and have a great time on YouTube. But you gotta come to Facebook. So I'll put the link will be in the description um, and I'm gonna show you briefly what I'm auctioning off in the in, right now. And then we're gonna go to Keys of the Week, okay? Thank you. Hey guys, here's my idea for my one hour auction. <clears throat> we're going to have that Avengers collection I was telling you about. All the keys that could have to do with the new movie. Not all of them, but there's ten. And I'll explain those uh, during the auction. That should be the, the highlight. Besides this one, which is an All-Star Squadron 1 through 64 plus 1 through 3 annuals. That is the complete collection. That's an old lot. Um, that's worth fighting for. Justice League of America 28 through 32. Infinity Inc. collection 1 through 13, and then we have the entire Mc missing number 14, but we have the entire McFarlane run, which is 15 through 37, all Tom McFarlane. Then we finish up with 38 through 53. So, all you'd have to do is buy the number 14, you'd have the whole set, along with the one and two annual and the special. We have Young All Stars 1 through 5. Number 6 is the first Paula Brooks as Tigress. And then 7 through 13, 14 through 20 annual, number one. So that's part of the auction right there. These are all lots. Johnny Thunder, Thunderbolts, number one through four, the first appearance of Johnny. Submariner, one through three. Conan Classic paired with Conan Adventures. These are just little lots. Fantastic Four from 1996, one through three. Iron Man, one through three from 1996. Robin, number two, one through four, those little covers avengers from 1996 one through three captain america from 1996 one through three these are these are really cool official marvel index to fantastic four one through 12 official marvel index amazing spider-man one through nine uh and then we have justice society of america from 1992 one through five and we have uh, from 1991, Justice Society of America, 4 through 8. In the shop, these are just lots. Green Lantern, 27 through 31. Silver Age Classics, lot of 9 different classic stories. These are these are cool. World of Krypton, number 1, and World of Metropolis, number 1. Crimson Avenger, 1 through 4. Black Canary, 1 through 4. And randomly, I'll be picking out of this box just random things. There's a Captain Marvel Venomize, a Teen Titans first appearance. Sick-ass variant covers. Hard variants to find. And I might just might sell that Batman damn 10.0 variant so let me know what you guys think so I'm gonna post this in my new or keys of the week video and I'll post it half an hour before the auction okay let me know okay guys now here to your keys of the week okay now I have some I can show you I don't think a lot of people know about them so I have them in hand I'm gonna show you what I found but let's get to the basics really fast. Savage Dragon number 241 is the first appearance of Captain Tootsie in the modern age. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, 
one shot coming out is the 20th anniversary celebration being with IDW. Okay, Batgirl number 30, okay? First of all, there's the cover. Okay, we also have the Batgirl variant cover by Middleton, okay? So, but this is one of those keys, super keys, okay? You have the Middleton variant cover. You have the first appearance of Corm Cormorant. He's on the last page. And there's a Stan Lee tribute on the last internal page. Uh, remembering Stan Lee and, as good competition, and it says Excelsior. That's a key. Uh, Titans number 32 is the origin story of Mother Blood, and here is the variant cover. Next, Conan the Barbarian number one. They bought back the rights. We have a new series. I'm not totally sure, but I think there is a couple first appearances in there. I've looked, tried to look at and I couldn't find the names, but one is Razel, Razelzel, which is like, or Red Doom is the name. You don't really see him, but they talk about him. There's also a witch and like two girls, could or two kids, could be a first appearance of them. Most likely just the witch, um, but that's the key for that book. Let's see, Winter Soldier number two is a first appearance of uh, RJ, who is an assassin that works for Hydra. Wolverine the Long Night number one used to be a podcast and now it's a comic and here's the variant cover Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi number one basically it's the origin of Anakin I think during the training uh, of Anakin uh, there's a bunch of covers on that Champions number one is a new run of the Champions series there's a bunch of covers for that too. Watch my other video. Aspen Visions number one is a new series with uh, alternate outcomes of the characters. For instance, like uh, what if um, what if Venom never existed or something, something like that. But there's characters and stuff like that. Okay, I think this is my key of the week right here. Okay, um, no one's talked about it. I think I'm on to something. We all know about it, I think, but there's more to it. Okay, so this is going to be my key of the week pick, okay? Old Lady Harley, number three. First of all, the regular cover is sick. It shows one of the Bane twins, like, breaking Harley's back. Now, I don't think they actually break it, but it's, it's like, basically, here's why it's key. And I've done research, and I think I'm pretty sure this is it. It's like a triple threat, okay? So, basically, they're like Mad Max in the Thunderdome, and they're like fighting. And she's fighting the Bane twins. Now, there are, there is appearance of a Bane twins, but it's actually Bane and his brother. These are the kids of Bane. There's a girl and a guy, and they're twins, okay? Um, they, like, break her back in there, or almost, or whatever, and stuff like that. Um, also... And I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I've, I know, but I don't know if it's a first appearance of true or not, is the first appearance of Old Man Bane. And dude, he looks sick. And not only that, for a triple threat, it's like a, it's like a four key threat, kind of. It's three Bane, but four special. So we have the Bane Twins. We have Old Man Bane. We have the cover that resembles Bane breaking Batman's back. And on the last internal page is the uh, Stan Lee blacked out page in remembrance from a DC comic. So that's my key of the week, that book. Old Lady Harley number three, all right? Almost forgot uh, Infinity, Infinity number one. It's a good book, I've read it. Um, there's some su surprises in there, and I think it's uh, building up to the War of the Realms. Um, pick that up, too. Sick cover right here. Okay, um, let me finish this video, and we'll be done. Thanks. Come over to the auction in one hour. I gave you all the details. Facebook.com forward slash economics and comics. There's going to be a lot of people there, and it's going to be a quickie. You saw what I was going to list, and there will be some bonus things. It's worth coming. I'm just getting rid of some stuff. 
and uh, we'll have another real big auction this coming Saturday. But I just wanted to do it, okay? Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.